let me show you how to actually uh, get uh, the AWS Cloud Practitioner and uh, Associates, which includes Solutions Architect Associate, Developer Associate, and CSOPS Associate for free. Get certified for free without having to pay a single cent. Now, let's begin. So it's just for this. Uh, data engineer is a beta. They're still, it's still in a beta. So it is just for CCP and associates level. So first thing you're going to do is just go on Google. Uh, let's go on Google. And I want to type you AWS uh, Educate. Yeah, I want you to type AWS Educate. The first thing you're going to come here. <coughs> then you're going to create, you're going to register for AWS Educate. text a bit so you're going to put in your, your first name last name everything you need to know and then you're definitely going to create your account yeah so when you're done you create your account and you'll get a link to your email address uh to that email address and then you're going to actually activate that after that then the next thing you're going to do is um is now log in so you're going to actually log in yeah so you're going to log in so you're going to log into your aws educate aws educate so you're going to log into AWS Educate. Yeah. So you're going to log into AWS Educate. I'm literally here because I don't want you to uh, to see my password. I don't want to edit it because I'm not not for editing. Okay, good. So next is you're going to log into AWS Educate and you're going to find uh, a lot of these courses here, basically. Now I want you to filter using badge. So these are badges. So when you finish learning this, you get a badge. So basically the one I want you to use, which is the easiest is use introduction to cloud one, one, uh, that and confirm. So you, it's the one of the easiest way to do it. So you need to pick one, but I'm suggesting you use the introduction to cloud fundamental one, one. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so you're going to use it and then you're going to basically okay so you're going to basically go and then you're going to find the courses so this is this is everything you're going to actually do so you're going to start from introduction to cloud computing so you're going to do that entire course it's about two hours uh do it and then till you are complete when you're done uh it you'll get a badge and you will get an email you actually get an email uh uh inviting you to uh, aws emerging talent community yeah, so you're going to get an email inviting you to AWS talent community after finishing uh, one of these courses. Yeah, so start with the introduction to cloud. It's easier than this because, you know, this may need a little bit more. So we're going to use that. Yeah, so when you're done with that, next thing you're going to go into your email address. So, for example, you see this. This was the email that was inviting me to uh, Imagine talent community. So you're going to go here and then you click on start here. Then you're going to configure your AWS Emerging Talent Community. Uh, you're going to configure your Emerging Talent Community and then you're going to be uh, pretty much fine. So after that, you're going to have to log in to, uh, you're going to have to log into your, to, you know, to your AWS Emerging Talent Community. Yeah, uh, you're going to have to log in there. I'm going to move it here so that you don't have to see, you don't have to see any of that. Yeah, so let's see. So you're going to have to log into your uh, Imagine Talent Community after obviously configuring and creating your account. So you'll have to log in here. Yeah? So sorry about that. Sorry about that. You're going to have to log in. So if you log in, for example, today, this is <coughs> after configuring and creating your account, this is what you're going to get. So you're going to get a lot of these challenges uh, here and you're going to have to complete them yeah so daily uh, every time you log in daily you you actually get to redeem a few points might be five points today 10 tomorrow 15 and then you get these challenges so for example now we have down john migrates to amazon open search and you're tidying up this for 10 points so you have to keep on doing them so for example we are tidying up our older discussion topics what is it about so it's going to prompt you to go there you're going to probably read what, what whatever it is that they want you to do so starting November, so this is basically new. So starting November 2nd, uh, you will see discussion topics start to expire. We want to keep conversation fresh and make it easier for everyone to sort through topics. So they're just giving us. So by me reading that and accepting, I literally already get 10 points. So I'm at 38.43. Yeah. And then we also have this, like something like Amazon Open Search Service. So they're going to prompt me to go somewhere and read about how the Dow Jones. Dow Jones is like the stock market. 
uh, uh, one of the stock market index, I believe, in the US. So, yeah, so I have to go read about it. When I'm done reading, then they're going to ask me these questions. And then when I'm done answering them, I submit and I get my 20 points. And that is how I accumulate points. So right now I'm at 3,843 points uh, total. Now, how do I actually use this for my exam? So you are going to have to go to rewards. So for my foundational or CCP, AWS CCP, I can redeem uh, 3,500 points. Yes. So if I want to get the CCP, I will have to redeem 3,500 points of which I am already past that. So if I wanted to do CCP, which I've already done, then I would redeem it. Uh, CCP cost a hundred dollars retail uh, but if you use 3,500 points you do it for free and then if I want to do any of this uh, <coughs> associate level then I'll have to get to 4,200 points to redeem and you simply just click on redeem but before you actually do that you're going to need uh, a few things for you to do first thing you're going to need is to you need to uh, you need to complete a AWS skill builder exam prep course for the year for whatever it is you're doing. So if I'm going to do solutions architect, I have to go to AWS skill builder and basically do an exam prep. Let me look, let me look at that exam prep. So <clears throat> this skill builder, for example, yeah. So this is exam prep, which I need to resume where I left. So I need to go through all these topics. This is basically a four hour, 30 minutes exam prep. And I need to watch all the videos to make sure, you know, to make sure that, you know, you need to learn about whatever you're going to do. So it's domain one, design secure architectures, design resilient architectures, design high performance and cost optimized architecture for solutions architects. So I have to go through all of it and it has to confirm that that course is actually completed. So at that point. And the second thing you need to do is you need to take a practice test. So, for example, in my practice test uh, for AWS solutions architect in skill builder, I scored 90 percent. So after doing this, you are going to have to take a picture of them. And then you have to upload to confirm that you have actually specifically you know completed this so after doing those um after doing that uh, then you're basically good to go so now you can redeem your points you can redeem and then you'll have to upload those pictures and then you will get uh basically get your what do you call it you will get your voucher or uh, also note uh the email that you use to to sign up for emerging talent should be the same one for your aws skill builder so that you don't lose your voucher on the way so make sure they're the same after that you get you will basically get your entire voucher and then now when you when you go to actually you know to uh set up for your exam and in the checkout you just put in that voucher and then you get 100 percent off um i hope this actually did help thank you